of the Cotswold Way. And we're going to be hiking 100 miles south to Bath. Let's see how we get on. And ironically, we'll need one when we get <laughs> Go jump in the Roman baths. I don't think they'll like it. on the Cotswolds Way. Very exciting. It's a cute little place. What is there to know about the Cotswolds? I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna find out and we'll let you know as we go. First up, don't know what kind of stone it is, but it's built everywhere and it's very cute. Oh, and we also found out that the Cotswolds did really well during the wool boom. So there's lots of nice churches. There's lots of wealth back in the day. Oh, so good to uh, be on the trail, but to be honest, it feels really weird because um, yesterday was meant to be the first day, uh, but Gloria the van got stuck. We are properly stuck. We are not moving. As the moment that we was just cleaning up and about to find a new plan, which was gonna be find someone else to help, John turned up and fortunately they've got a tractor. That is just awesome. John to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's got a proper tractor. And they're gonna pull us out, so I mean, Fate handed us a real good hand right there. It's just so good to be back here. I feel very lucky to be able to hop onto a different national trail and really excited about what the Cotswolds has to offer. So come on legs, let's do it. 100 miles to Bath. and really pleasingly we aren't at the beginning there's, no progress. there's a space <laughs> but there's a long way to go dude so far you look really close so you can see our car parked <laughs> just there just there. yeah that's it <laughs> surprised it's on the map Broadway Tower and it claims it's the highest castle. Surely it should be called Broadway Castle. Anyway, Broadway Tower, the highest castle in the Cotswolds.
time, I think I found the cutest house in the world. Look at that, 85. It's out of the chocolate box. Trail provides well, we've just run out of water and we found a tap. So we've added it to the hiker app and we're filling up and drinking a lot because it's a hot day today. It's about 18 20 degrees and it's muggy. It's our second national trail, and we're realizing how well marked they are. I don't know if they'll all be like this, but it's awesome. And it's so pretty. Check out this cool lantern the village lantern. A village lantern. What are you mumbling about? Just seeing why there's a lantern here. Why is there a lantern? Somebody reinstated it. How many times are you going to say lantern? Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like where Harry Potter's from. The village that he was born in. I would love a butterbeer right now. <laughs> accommodation for the first night. Maybe it's the wrong place. And there's a bench as good as this. You got to sit. <laughs> Have you seen the state of the bench? <laughs> I think a cow tried to sit on it. <laughs> oh, I genuinely was so excited. <laughs> Should we have a little two person perch on the end? Yeah. Ooh, that was a pretty good hill. Oh, yeah, you're beating. <laughs> I'm really beating. You're not beating. I am, but it's just like a bit slime with the sun cream. Let's show you the view. Beautiful. We're at about mile 14 or 15 of the first day, which is great. The weather's been great, we're just having a nice time. But more importantly right now is we've seen about two miles of these trees, which are planted in metal casings. What could be a path, but it's just more meadow. It basically doesn't make any sense. We wonder why, why? Why are they here? Who spent so much time and money on planting really nice straight sets of trees? And where do they lead? All these questions. Too many questions. I don't know why you do it randomly. It has to be have it has to have a reason and a purpose. Look, it continues down there. It goes through this field down below, and then you can actually see in the distance there's two lines of trees that lead to a lake. Oh, it's because it's the runway for the lake. Oh, that makes so much sense now. Why does it make sense? <laughs> I'm really joking. Oh. It makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Winchcombe in the distance! That's great. What are we going to do in Winchcombe? Well, it's a bit tasty from co-op. <laughs> We're going to find something yummy. It's a bit different this place to the other place we've been to. A bit more high streety, I suppose you would say, or bigger. Probably the biggest place we've been so far, but it's still very quaint. Very cute and full of buildings with character, let's say. Everything is old and wobbly and looks cool. It's good to be here. 
gonna walk out of town and find somewhere to camp for the night. <laughs> good night it's about 9 30 and we are have set up our tent just in the woods about 30 seconds that way and we are sat of our backs against the wall to the burial mound and the sun is setting just over there and we're having cold soak noodles with smoked cheese and a red pepper it's actually pretty good fresh pepper it's game changer actual vegetable not that i actually care i'm so tired and my feet are so sore but Bonus. This is where we slept last night and it's quite close to the trail and it's definitely hidden away. So it's great. Max's portable stretch studio. Taking advantage of an empty tent. The only reason we bring it is for Max <laughs> stretching it, but as Max is doing a stretch, we can always use it to sleep in, which is very handy. This was our campsite last night. Leave no trace. Remember, leaving no trace is a good thing to do. And we got all of our stuff on our backs, ready for another day of adventuring. And the legs feel fresh. They feel so together. Fresh. <laughs> Cleveland, we've just stopped at the golf course cafe for a quick coffee. We've met Richard, who we met at the beginning of the day. We've just been hiking with him so far. It's been a really nice day, pretty chilled. It's nice to meet Richard. He's a really nice guy. We are at Cleve Hill, which is the highest point on the Cotswolds Way. And we're about to say goodbye to Richard. He lives just down off the top, Bishop's Cleve, and we pointed out his house. So they've waved to his house and we're about to wave goodbye to Richard as well. But it's been a really nice morning and um, he's been a really great tour guide and good company as well. So nice to meet you, Richard. like this that we feel very lucky and um, very happy with our choice to prioritize our hikes and uh, live a bit more simply because being out here out just outside all day just feeling the sun and sitting on the ground and just spending time with Tom and also kind of raising awareness of uh, mental health and mind this is what it's all about for us this is where this is kind of our happy place this is where we feel relaxed and at ease I can encourage people to get out and find your happy place. I recommend it. Well, this is a good old climb. Ooh, we are both speeding up today. It is a lovely 20 plus degrees and got a really good incline. 
It's good. You know it's good when they have to put a step in. Oh, it's a decent step too. Oh. Come on through. Ooh. We found a bench for lunch and it was great. Even though it's a bit lumpy. Um, we've been airing our toesies. Uh, air toesies, please. Oh. We have a view and that in the distance, bing, is Cleve Hill where we were but a moment ago. Let's just see if these guys move a bit. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. Move, move. Hell away. These guys don't care. We took the detour around the cows because they had their butts to us and we didn't fancy pretty big butts. taking them on. No, it's not just to leave the cows in peace, you know. We have found a detour, which is quite off road, but there you go. I'll take any detour. <laughs> I'm not going to walk between two that have got two. their back to us. <laughs> she means their butt to us. <laughs> Just past the cows and we're walking through what feels and looks like common land. On our right, there's an amazing view of Cheltenham. Maybe not the prettiest view, but it's still really cool. And what a place to live. Just got countryside and hillsides all the way around you. Cheltenhamites, I envy you. Hill, a nature reserve, and now we've just crossed over the busy road. We're on about mile 18 of today, and in total 38 overall. We're doing quite well. We are ready to have a little break. We did manage to find a toilet on the top of Crickley Hill. They've got a sort of little cafe and amenities. in this cool place, a sand quarry it looks like. We thought we might stay here. Right, the fact we planned to stay here, down there, in a flat patch, was the only flat patch that we found. We've been looking for a spot since mile 16. That and had dinner. And then we went to put up the tent. <laughs> Max already had said before we even sat down, do you think the pegs will go in? And I said, yeah, the pegs will definitely go in. The pegs didn't go in. <laughs> we had a really great campsite. So we struggled to find a spot last night. Popped our head over the top of a forest road and there was a little dip. Lots of leaves, leaves to remove, but underneath it's nice and soft. Now we're having breakfast. Overnight oats, trail mix, peanut butter. We've eaten everything but the trail mix now. The weather is supposed to be showery forever, but positive is that the landscape should look interesting due to the clouds. You didn't look convinced. Oh, that was really reaching. I didn't expect you to come out with that. What's the positive? There won't be that many people out this weekend. <laughs> Trail is our own. Yeah. So this is where our tent was last night, in the middle of this really cool little bit of woods.
inside the canopy, but outside, and it looks majestical. <laughs> we both slept really well, and it just makes life better, but it also makes the rain easier to deal with. And just, you know, just really enjoying the trail today. It's pretty it's interesting. Warm. Yeah, we're warm, we're not completely soaked, and yeah, just, it's nice, it's really nice. So we've made it to the bottom of Cooper's Hill, which is where they do the cheese rolling. But it's full of stinging nettles and it doesn't look quite the same as you see on TV. But it's so steep. Yeah, it looks terrifying, no thanks. Good job those people, those fools who do it. But we might be wrong as well. But we're gonna say this is the cheese rolling. If you come down that hill at any amount of speed, you're just gonna end up in this person's house. <laughs> but yeah, that's quite funny, what on earth. Currently climbing Cooper's Hill, also known as the cheese rolling hill, woo! Cheese rolling down a hill, oh my God. How stupid is that? What? I mean, it looks steep. And climbing it, it is steep. It's not a hill, it's a cliff. I'm surprised it rolls and just drop to the bottom. <laughs> Great view though. We have made it to Painswick, which is a lovely little town. They've got pubs, they've got coffee shop, they've got a good old shop. So we've done our resupply, have a little grockle, use their facilities, get some water and push on. Tom's having a really good day. He's dancing his way up the trail. This trail is very cool. in the distance, the other side of the River Severn. And then there's a couple of the bridges that are going over to Wales from sort of near Bristol, which is pretty cool. Good landscape indeedy do. That is the cloud that's about to consume us. This side, lovely and sunny. This side, thunderstorm. Right in the way. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Check this out. Please don't pee. Move, move, move. Come on. Oh, it's gonna go up. Can you? No, Chino. Oh, Come on, move. Come on, go, go, go. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. Go, Tom. Yep, yep. Yep. Yes, Tom. It wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't too bad. It's just they start looking at you and then one started walking towards us. It's a bit like, oh, no. What's going on, Max? 
hanging out. <laughs> oh, you're stuck in a style, aren't you? <laughs> no, I, this is how I meant to do it. Let's see you get out of this one. <laughs> oh, that was way too easy. We've made it to Ben's kebab van. We're getting some chips with mayonnaise and ketchup on, and it's gonna be great. We have just gone through the outskirts of Stroud and down the valley and up most of the other side. We were running very low on water. In fact, we had no water for about the last two hours. So just as we were leaving the outskirts of Stroud because then you're going into Woodland for what looks like quite a long way. So we went and asked a house on the trail if we could get some water. And they said that is not a problem and jumped straight to it. And it's very kind of them. Even got a banana. I know, pretty psyched about Look, that. I can prove it. There is the banana, trail magic banana man. mile 61 Woohoo! so we've done 20 miles we're having tonight we're having chicken noodles with cheese and tomato and we've found a really cool bench well the bench is okay but the view is great check this out well that is sunset but you can't really tell it looks great from here we're hoping that is where our home is going to be tonight just thinking that I would love a last climb. Warm me up before bed. <laughs> this is really steep. This is really steep. So we found our spot. It's not ideal because there's cows somewhere in here, but it's a really pretty spot. So we've got a view over there. There's the sunset and the seven over that way. Basically a 360 view. And we found ourselves a little cotch. Fortunately, the path is right there, but we're in the middle of nowhere. So our only problem is cows. Day four in the Swax tent. <laughs> Tensions are high as the rain comes in. <laughs> Plan to get up at 6.30, but there was a cow licking the tent, which freaked me out. I just looked underneath the edge of the tent, as you can just see, without getting out, and there was like six cows, all just like staring and very close. So I woke Max up. Max, come on, we've got to get up. There's cows at our tent. <laughs> and then they buggered off. That was an exciting morning. So this is our cool camp spot. The cows went and it stopped raining. Can you believe it? So now we get to enjoy this awesome view without anybody on a really awesome Sunday morning. Up there is 
where we camped last night and it looks really cool and you can see how steep the entrance is. Now, going to Dursley. Just past this really massive oak tree and Tom can't stop talking about it. Because it's such a cool tree. It looks like a studio prop and it's massive. I'm calling it the Queen of Dursley slash the light lung. It's just absorbing so much light. <laughs> Very cool. It is a bit of a beast. If you come to Dursley, come check out the Queen of Dursley. <laughs> <laughs> So we've made it to Dursley and it's about just before eight on a Sunday and it's very quiet here and peaceful so I'm trying not to be too loud. It's very weird actually. see just there there's a lot of rain coming down but right now we've got blue skies and sun so may it stay over there so we're just headed back to the Cotswold Way official because we've just been following the bloody alternative Cotswold Way loop so we've done about I don't know probably an hour doing a bloody circle of this golf cart <laughs> It does have the Cotswold Way arrows and signs and markers. We obviously didn't see the official one. Not ideal, but the good thing is we're hardcore. And we're just coming up to where we went wrong. See our mistake. We came from this direction up here. So you'll be walking here and then, and then you see the Cotswold Way sign, which is going that way, not the right way. But then on this side, hidden behind it, there's the Cotswold Way sign. <laughs> Oh, I really understand why we did that. That was a good one. straight through the town. Parsons Bakery, which does a banging meal deal. You can't not stop there. You have to stop there. It's 375, you get a coffee, a cake, and a banging baguette. I don't know how they're making any money and why we would drop anywhere else. And we've also been to the co-op. We've got ourselves some resupply goodies. Unfortunately Max's knee isn't feeling great, but we'll, we stretch. we'll see how we go. Should we play sticks? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have this one. I want that stick that's on the top. And you'll put a little one. This stick? Yeah. Okay. I'll like toss them out a little bit. Steady. Go. Come on, 
stick. I think they both got stuck. Which I think by by default makes us both winners. Woohoo! Yay! Bye bye! Good evening, it's about nine o'clock. It's been a bit of a slow afternoon. Max's knee has been causing her some issues. So we slowed down a bit to try and compensate because we've been going pretty hard the last three days. Uh, we still managed a decent 18 miles today. We found this cute little spot, which is really nice. The trail's right there. So it is a bit close to the trail, but I think it's a really good spot. We haven't seen anybody since we got here. I think we got here at maybe half six-ish. I'll show you our little campsite. <laughs> In the woods. And what's quite cool, what's quite cool is if you look off here, it just goes and drops away. And there's some really big beech trees right above us. And there's a portal to the outside world so you can actually see what's going on, kind of. barking noise this morning. Why is there a thing barking? Just <laughs> woke us up at about five. Sun's up. Just came and sat on a log to eat my brekkie. And it's just cool to be awake at this time of day. It's, it's quite like a special time of day. Very quiet. Well, it's not really quiet. It's just, just a nice, time of day feels feels different, feels calm, feels special. To watch the sun slowly rising through the gaps in the trees. It's nice for it to be sunny because we haven't had that many sunny mornings the last two hikes, so it makes a nice change. And it reminds me why hiking is such a special thing to be doing. the village of Little Sodbury and we are on our way to Old Sodbury but uh, I just saw the coolest thing I've never seen a woodpecker up close before uh, and it landed on this garden in front of me it had a uh, yellow head and a red beaky it was really cool my knee today a bit more hopeful today had a good stretch and a massage last night and it's doing okay I'm just taking it easy we're gonna um, set a timer for kind of every hour and just do a little stretch <laughs>
17 miles by the Cotswold Way. Woo! Next up, Tormarton. You can see the motorway that we crossed earlier. And then that is Bristol and Wales in the background. So you get a pretty good view. So I did a bit of droning and me and Max agreed that Max would just keep walking. But now it's like a game of cat and mouse, which I think we both quite enjoy. So they gave Max a wave on this straight bit. She went back and then she just kept walking. <laughs> so obviously she doesn't want to hang out for now. Gotta try and catch her, but it's been about an hour. I'm not gonna say I miss her, but you know, I miss her. No! Oh! <laughs> super low on water, quite hard to find water on this trail. There are no taps, which we didn't realise how lucky we were in the South Downs way because that's got loads of taps. So we've been asking people along the way for water Please. and everyone has been very, very helpful. Onwards. Onwards. <laughs> Why are you yelling? Got nine left. Woo! Whoop! I've got 91 a bit because we went on that detour into single figures of. And we haven't even had lunch yet. No, it's. How many have we done today? We've done, done 13. 12. The biggest day by a long way. Yeah. We've done about this part, we've done about six or eight. Thanks a lot. can't actually tell what are freckles and what's dirt anymore. Pretty sure that's dirt. But equally it could be a freckle. I'm just working out the drain for a beautiful flight through the valley. So we just stopped at this awesome bench and got a view of Brizzle. 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 That ain't where we're going. Bristol. Four more miles. Woo! We can see a thing. We haven't done it yet. We can see a thing. We can see a thing. We've not done a thing, but we can see a thing. What can we see? We've walked a bar. Ish. Oh, yeah. Look, there's bar. It's right there. It's only just there. <laughs> Descending and Bath is all around us, as in the buildings are over on this side, and you also see buildings on this side. So, I think we're about to come out of the green and into the city. So, we walked through a bit of Bath, and now for some reason we're walking back out of it, and we haven't even been like properly in it. It's making us walk up all these bloody hills. It smells like poo. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like poo. Thanks, Max. The bloody clouds have turned up. 
The weather's come back. That, that's a beast right there. We seem to normally start in the rain on the big hikes. We didn't start on the rain this time, so obviously we're gonna finish in the rain. Right, left. And then we're there. It's kind of cool in the rain. No one around. We get the whole plate. Well, I mean, there's a few people stupid enough to be out in the rain. So we get the whole bus to ourselves. And it's kind of weirdly magical. Where are we? Oh, this is it. There. It's on the floor. We actually came here to sit down and have to use the toilet. But it turns out they do burgers, and so I thought well, we may as well get a burger. I'm very happy right now.